This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about customizing the interface inside of 3ds Max. Customizing the interface can be quite simple. I can go to Customize and hit Load Custom UI Scheme. When I click on any of these UI files and hit Open, it will load up that custom UI. Now it's going to tell me it's going to take effect next time, but as you can see, it has taken effect already. So again, we'll go back to Customize, Load UI Scheme. Let's go to Modular Toolbars. Let's open up that one. You see when I hit the modular toolbars, a bunch of new menus pop into the ribbon area. When I move into this menu area, as you can see, my cursor has changed to have that little floating rectangle below it. That means that I can drag that menu item off into its own floating toolbar. All of these things are completely customizable. As I drag it back up, you can see it'll pop back in. So I can rearrange the order of them by moving them around. I can also choose to tear them off and close them. So easier than that, I can just go back to Load Custom UI Scheme, and we'll go back to our default UI. Again, once that's done, I can still customize just about anything that I see visually within my interface. I can go to Customize, Customize User Interface. Within the dialog that pops up, I have multiple tabs. So pretty much everything in here, again, is customizable. So if we look at the keyboard, all the commands are going to be showing right now. So it's everything in Max that has the ability to be controlled by keyboard shortcuts. Many, many things have keyboard shortcuts, but many more do not. All of those can be given keyboard shortcuts. So as I move over something here, oh, let's go to Load Anim, right? I don't know what we're going to make a hotkey for, so let's try Alt-A. Well, Alt-Shift-Control-A is not assigned, so we could assign that if we wanted to. We're not going to worry too much about it, but we're going to go to look at Toolbars, Again, everything in here can be customized. The quad menus we'll look at in another video, adding and removing items from the quad menus, the menus themselves, and the colors of the interface. So let's look at the viewport background. All right, so I click on the color swatch. We can make it brighter. Well, let's make it a nice deep dark red. All right, so when I hit apply colors, I see that my viewport backgrounds are now a nice deep dark red. I don't personally think I'd want to work that way, so let's change it back. Put on a nice middle gray here. And anything that I do, I can, if I want, just end up going back to loading that default scheme, and it'll fix pretty much anything that I may break when I'm messing around in here. I can also tear off the command panel. Personally, I think it's a fantastic thing if I'm running multiple monitors to tear the command panel off, place it on my second monitor. You can see by doing that, it'll give me much more viewport space within my main monitor for my quad view. So again, if I want to put that back over on the side over here, I'll just right click in an empty area and hit dock, and we'll dock it back on the right hand side. Now that I've expanded it three panels wide, it's a little too big, so we'll drop that back down to a single panel. To customize the quad view itself, I can click and drag to make one viewport larger and other viewport smaller. I can also drag that back down so I can continually adjust that. If I right click in that area, I can hit reset layout. If I click on the plus sign here and go down to configure viewports, I can also change my layout. So I can have any kind of layout organizationally that I would like to have within Max. So I can have one big giant view and then two smaller ones. We can go to a side by side. So we just have two big viewports. I can choose to have three small views and one large perspective view. We can also, let's see, if we go to one big and one small, I can also click in here and determine exactly what view I want to have available there. So I can even have a new track view show up in there. So if we hit OK, I now have a track view and a top view. That top view from here can still be adjusted to be something else. So we can move around in there. All right, again, to go back, click on the plus sign, go down to Configure Viewports, and we'll go back to our standard quad view. Now, this one right now thinks it's going to be the track view, so let's fix that. Let's make that perspective. We'll take this one back to top, go over here to front, and go over here to left. That would be the standard viewport configuration in Max. If I hit apply, everything goes back where it's supposed to be. And again, no matter what, I can always go back to customize, load custom UI scheme, 
and just click on my default UI. That'll pretty much reset everything back to where it was when Max started. Back in our home view, it brings our perspective view back to where it was to begin with. That should do it for customized user interface. As with everything else, explore, mess around, look at all of the different things that you can do within your UI.